Different radiation types have different properties, so here we're going to compare them. Free neutrons and protons are also kinds of radiation, but their properties are not covered in detail at GCSE. So each radiation type takes a different form, so let's compare their composition. Alpha radiation is the same as a helium nucleus and consists of two protons and also two neutrons. An alpha particle is emitted to reduce the overall size of a nucleus. Beta radiation is a free electron, which originates in the nucleus. A beta particle reduces the number of neutrons by turning one into a proton. Gamma radiation is a high-frequency form of electromagnetic radiation, and a gamma ray releases the excess energy of the nucleus. The range in air is a measure of how far radiation can travel naturally. So alpha radiation can't travel far, only a few centimetres as it interacts with air too much. Beta radiation can travel a little further, approximately a few metres, as it interacts with air only a little. Gamma radiation can travel the furthest as it barely interacts with air. Ionising power is the ability to add or remove electrons from atoms. Alpha particles are the most ionising as they have a strong positive charge, which pulls electrons out of orbit. Beta particles are less ionising as they have a smaller negative charge, which repels some electrons. And then gamma rays are the least ionising, as they need to be absorbed by an electron to ionise it. This table describes which radiations are absorbed and therefore stopped by which materials. We can use this to determine which type of radiation a source emits by holding a Geiger-Muller tube behind different materials and seeing which ones radiation can still be detected behind. Alpha radiation can be stopped by a sheet of paper. Beta particles can be stopped by a thin aluminium sheet. And then gamma rays can be stopped by thick lead. Making these kinds of comparisons is a very popular question in exams, as well as considering these properties to choose an appropriate kind of radiation for a given situation. So you should be very familiar with this table. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.